Hey everybody, it's Kenny Cummins here. You're chilling with Kenny C. And uh, this is an interview that I've been wanting to do since Revolution Rising last year. Mm -hmm. This lady was part of that show, first ever all-female show for Northern Western Federation. And she's making a name for herself, representing Cincinnati, Ohio, a city that holds near and dear to my heart. She looking real elegant, you know, with the glasses on and mm -hmm. got the shirt on, you know. Got I like that. Uh, we'll talk about that shirt later. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to be joined with Savannah Sweet. She's with me right now. Hello, hello. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to have you on. Love the microphone there, you know, looking real uh, cool. Yeah, trying to have a nice setup. Yes, I love the setup indeed. <laughs> so we're going to get to some of your recent matches and mm -hmm. stuff. We'll get to that in just a bit. But as I get to learn more of the NWF talent, I want to learn about your journey as far as you getting started into the wrestling world. How did this start off for you? Um, I started like getting into wrestling when I was about like eight or nine years old I uh, was a fan for a couple of years and then I think like as I became a teenager I kind of like became less interested and I think around like COVID time I started really wanting like something else to do and I needed a hobby I needed something to like put my energy into and I found the Northern Wrestling Federation and it's like the best like drastic decision I've ever made I'm so glad I joined yeah so I've been a fan of NWF since 2010, 2011. Oh wow! Then, okay. So I'm I've been friends with Roger Wolfen and Big Mama for mm -hmm. many years. I've seen them wrestle in Kentucky uh, for promotions like United Wrestling Federation, Primetime Wrestling, and other promotions. Uh, so I've been friends with them for a pretty long time, uh, and. I said to Big Mama in the interview I did in December, I said, I'm going to start going to more of these NWF shows, uh, most notably in Kentucky and some Cincinnati shows here and there. Mm -hmm. So I was at Covington, had a good time. I want to give a shout out to the fans, the NWF Army, and uh, shout out to all the wrestlers with the Polar War picture. Uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so it was fun. It was very, very fun. So you're now getting into wrestling. You're getting the hang of it. You're making a name for yourself in this division, in this promotion. What's it like to be part of Northern Wrestling Federation? Um, I remember being like super nervous when I first joined. And I think luck luckily for us, uh, we do have like a nice women's division. We have like a lot more women than most wrestling companies do. I think at one point there was about like 10 of us. Um, and at the Covington show, we were able to feature two women's matches, which is a really big deal to me because a lot of times you go, you know, to these other promotions and there's sometimes just one. But um, I've really enjoyed it so far. It's definitely like been hard, the whole wrestling and learning and you know, I've only been doing it for about a year and a half, but I think I've gotten like so many opportunities to like learn and there's so many like great wrestlers there that I can learn from and that give me really good advice. Yeah, and um, so I've only seen you wrestle four times. Revolution mm -hmm. Rising, Generation X Pro Wrestling, yep. um, Girl Fight Wrestling in Indiana with Big Mama, of course, and this past Saturday, um, so you are definitely my favorite wrestler in NWF. I'll just oh, go on you. record. Um, <laughs> I'll be like the only person cheering for Savannah in her matches, and that's cool because mm. you know, somebody's gonna cheer for the villains, might as well be me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, so <laughs> you, you definitely have made strides, I definitely would say. Um, for what I've seen, you, um, definitely on the right path. Um, you definitely show some promise and it, it shows you, you are in the championship picture right now. 
um, with Ella. So, mm-hmm. as I said, I'm learning more on of NWF with the storylines and the angles. Um, what I do know that at Ludlow, December, I think it was, that was a battle royal, and Ella somehow survived and won the match, retained the title, and then she didn't get time to celebrate. You came in, intervened, gave her her own finisher multiple times, and she couldn't walk out of her own. So fast forward to Covington, it was a very physical match, um, mm-hmm. and the outcome, it is what it is, but <laughs> it felt like you got your point across, like, hey, I, I can hang with you. I can hang with you, you know, and it's a matter of time before I take that title from you. She's been the champion for close to a year now. Yes, she has. Close to it. So how are you feeling about what transpired this past Saturday and how are you feeling going into February 18th for this rematch opportunity? Yeah, so we have that rematch February 18th for a shot in the heart, which I'm really excited for. Um, me and yeah, Ella have been wrestling for like about the past year now. And when we first started wrestling, like she could easily beat me. And now that we've worked each other a few more times, I think it's starting to come um, head to head. And I think Ludlow was when everything kind of popped off, especially for me, it was us both fighting on that apron. And she just got one lucky punch right there. I was out. Honestly, I might have done something a little dirty giving her own finisher, but it is what it is. She deserved it. It was I had I had survived all those women as well in that match. She just got one lucky punch. But with um, what happened at Covington recently, you know, me and her were going back and forth. Who's going to try to hit that finisher first? I was the one that actually got to hit her with it. Um, She didn't get me with that. So I think I got robbed in that match. I think that um, that should have been a three count. They were a little slow with that. So um, with this rematch, I feel really confident that I'm finally going to get that NWF Women's Revolution title. So it's February 18th, Covington, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Shot from the heart. Northern Wrestling Federation is coming back there. Um, tickets will be on sale uh, at nwfwrestling.com. And, of course, NWF got some other shows coming up this weekend. Um, not only you you did double duty that particular night, not only you wrestled, but you was um, uh, company with James Cross. Uh, so talk about that dynamic between you and Cross, per se. Yeah, so that's been going on for the past couple months, which is really funny. Um, I really like it. So it's me, James Cross, um, Jack Phoenix, Bones, we call ourselves Axe of Powers. Um, James Cross has been amazing to learn from. He is like really good on the mic. He knows how to talk. He knows how to get a reaction out of people, even if it's negative. Uh, I think him and AJ had a great match and I'm glad that he took a page out of my book with the tape. I think it was perfect. And we, I think we dominated that night for sure. Okay. Axis of power. I'm definitely going to remember that faction. Yes. For sure. Axis of power. Uh, shout out to everyone there. Um, like I say, I'm learning all mm-hmm. these talent. So I'm trying to get familiar who to cheer for, like who's Savannah walking with. So <laughs> I know axis of power. Got it. All mm-hmm. good. Um, so now we're gonna talk about this background behind me. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this this is um <laughs> I love that picture. This is your Ohio <laughs> Valley Wrestling debut that mm-hmm. night. Um first tapings of the year. Um it was a dark match between yourself and Annika and Scholar Slice. Um, yes. And to this day, I'm in my feelings because this, after what you just did, it should have been on the TV. You know, because with this being the first show for mm-hmm. the, of the new year, 
what a way to start off. <laughs> so <laughs> I will let you explain why the is a person's wig is thrown in midair. You throwing it like you Joe Burrow or the Bengals, it looks like. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I'll let you explain what led to that wig moment at Ohio Valley Wrestling Day. That was a perfect moment. I love that picture so much. That was um a fan took it. And I, it was like when I got in the car and I saw that, it just made me laugh. But um yeah, as soon as the match this happened pretty early in the match, as soon as the match started, um Anika, I like turned my back around. I see her with her wig next to her and I was like, all right, it's time for me to have some fun here. You know, I grabbed that wig, swung it around. And I didn't realize how high I threw it, but I guess I threw it that high enough and that fan caught that picture. And it it's, I think, the greatest photo, like probably one of my favorite in action photos I have of me in wrestling, for sure. Yeah, being the heel in wrestling, you got to mm-hmm. have those moments that's really going to get people talking. And that yeah. was a moment. And just, I was in front row, saw that mm-hmm. on the website. I had this moment like she really, <laughs> she really threw it up in the air like what? Oh wow! Like you should change your name to Savannah Savage because that was a savage move right. <laughs> you pulled off. Um, so that kind of leads to my next question: D- Is that the most savage thing you've ever done in the ring, or or did you did something that went even beyond that? Um, I mean, I think with like what I did to Ella and Ludlow, giving her her finish that many times might have been a pretty savage thing. Um, I think we got it to the point where the child was crying, uh, chanting, do it one more time, which is the first time I think I've ever gotten a crowd chant like that, which was awesome. But yeah, even if you're a heel, like you do, you know, if you do cool things and you like think on the spot in the moment, because that wig moment was just like I had just seen it and you know, you just have to take advantage of those cool moments like that. And it was really, really fun. I hope yeah. to do more in the future, for sure. Yeah, I, I'm going to need OVW to bring you back, you know, just based on that alone. <laughs> I should be coming back soon. Oh, okay. I really want to get out and wrestle a little bit more and start going to all these different promotions in the Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio area, for sure. Yeah, well, I I got some friends in New South Wrestling. You know, I'm mm-hmm. just saying they could need some talent. There. I might be coming down there soon too. Okay, I, I I've been looking at New South for sure. I I do know your nemesis Ella. She's going to make her debut this Sunday, um, against Alexis Littlefoot. So um, okay, yeah. So I'm um, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if you ain't got no plans, or I have to follow her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nonetheless, um, man, this is fun. This is so much fun. Um, so who's some of your, who's some of the people that have inspired you, um, as far as whether it's indie scene or mainstream? Who's some, of, who's some of the wrestlers that that stood out to you that got you into being a wrestler? Um. Like, my all-time favorites as a kid were obviously, like, Lita and Trish, which I know everyone says, but, like, I was obsessed. Um, Like, Hardy Boys, really big fan. Um, I think more, even, like, Melina. I always really liked Melina. She was always super athletic and great personality. I love people who have, like, big personalities in the ring, especially being so new. You know, I, I may not be, like, the best wrestler. I'm still developing, but if I can have those moments where I do like show my personality in a match. I think people remember that more than some of the moves I've done. Um, Victoria too. She's kind of like, I'd love to wrestle her just because she's super strong and she's super athletic. And that's kind of what I'm striving for is that like, I think she has that perfect balance in a wrestler. Um, I think more so wrestlers like right now, I really like Jamie Hayter. I've been watching some of her like stardom stuff. I really like it, but I think there's so many like amazing women out there right now, especially on the indie scene too. Um, which is why I'm excited to be at OBW because there's a bunch of girls there I haven't wrestled that I really want to. I would say like Freya Frischer is one of them. 
Oh yeah, Freya. That that'll yeah. be good. Um, they they got some talent out there in Louisville. Mm -hmm. Um, Little Gray, um, Freya, Jada. You know, just they were few. So they they definitely striving with that division. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Maria, um, the coach who's a wild woman of wrestling, and Haley, obviously the daughter. They 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 making strides there in OVW with that division, and then you know, they need some Ohio. Okay, it's Ohio Valley Western. Right. <laughs> so having some Ohio talent, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I, I I have Cincinnati ties. I lived in Cincinnati back in the '90s, uh. So I love that city. That holds near and dear to my heart. Um. So I'm. I still got Ohio in me, even though I live in Kentucky. So, right, <laughs> I, I make my way to Cincinnati every now and then. So, for sure, you have no, you got some matches coming up. You got some title opportunities. Um, obviously, winning that NWF Women's Revolution Championship that's a goal by default. Um, obviously, yes. um, what else are some goals you want to accomplish this year? as far as maybe more traveling, maybe some mm -hmm. matches with some more people. Uh, what were some of your other goals Savannah's Sweet wants to accomplish this year? Um, I definitely want to get out and travel more. I feel lucky to like have traveled as much as I have already, just being a year in. Um, OBW was a big goal for me, and I'm really happy that I got to start off 2023. But I, I definitely want more like TV experience because I haven't been on TV before. So I think that's going to be a whole new aspect to learning. And I think that would be a really, really good way for me to learn. Um, definitely want to wrestle some new girls, more experience and less experience and everywhere in between. Especially with NWF, a lot of us are trained by Roger. So getting out there, seeing who got trained by who and kind of, I think that's where you really learn, especially with like on the on those like moment kind of spots yeah um shout out to roger um and, and mom yeah. um just two individuals that's been with nwf for many many years and seeing how far that uh promotion has grown it's definitely one of the most active promotions in the tri-state area it's been around for a very very long time mm -hmm. I, I was there when Cindy was the woman's champion. Okay. That was a lot. And I love me some Cindy. She, mm -hmm. she was a legend in her own right, obviously. So uh, I love NWF. I love what they're doing. Um, the talent and just just traveling, just showing, hey, we, we're not just one city. We're going to travel around Ohio and Kentucky. So For sure. I love uh, promotions like that that just want to get themselves out there literally so um so i'm i'm february 18th i'm there i'm there i'll be there and uh i need to buy one of those shirts um I need yes to buy one of those shirts uh <laughs> I'll, I'll either before or after february 18th it don't matter um i did i did buy a sticker from your booth thank and, you um it's on the bottom of my iMac. Uh, so once I'm in front of the the desktop, I'm looking at the sticker. It's, it's right there. Uh, so it my desktop now looks very sweet. No pun intended. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so you definitely, um, I'm a fan of you. Um, I definitely see a lot of a promise. I see a lot of a growth. Um, you, I see so much potential in you. You're definitely on the on your way, and uh, who knows? By February 18th, you can put it. You could do something that no one else is ever to do. And that's in Ella's title reign. I'm ready uh, for that. Um, so. I, I'm really excited. For February 18th. You know, I think you know that's going to be the tipping point. We've you know we me and her have been we've been working. We had the Ludlow. We had Covington. I think this next match in February is where everything is going to kind of pop off from there. Um, and about these shirts, I'm going to get some printed soon. I was kind of seeing how everyone felt about them. Um, I might get another color, I'm thinking, just to see what people would like. But 
I definitely want to get some more merch out and work on that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Whenever whenever you got them ready, I'm 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 in the front. I'll get one. Thank I'll, you. I'll get one for sure. <laughs> um, where can people follow you on social media and follow your wrestling journey? Um, I believe my Twitter is real sab sweet, and I think my Instagram is real savannah sweet. I believe. But I try to keep them all the same. So you'll, you'll for sure find me on one of those. All right. Check her out uh, on social media. And if mm -hmm. you're in the Covington, Kentucky area, uh, Savannah going up against Ella for the Women's Revolution Championship, uh, Shot for the Heart is on February the 18th at Hits. And uh, go check it out, man. I I'm telling you, Northern Wrestling Federation mm -hmm. of Promotion. It's been around for a long time and uh, just evolving, especially with their women's division. So go yeah. check it out. A lot of chaos has happened. You can check out Bust and Loose, their latest episode. So you can check out some shocking moments. There's a lot going on in that women's division. Uh, there is. So Nick and Victory made some noise. Uh, well, yeah, she's someone I want to wrestle. I haven't had a match with her before. And she's a former NWF Women's Revolution champion, and she's someone I really, really want to wrestle. I think me and her could do a lot of cool things. Oh, yeah. That that will be, as the kids will say, a banger. That, mm -hmm. that will be something be awesome. um, worth the admission. So I want to talk Revolution Rising, because you was part mm -hmm. of that show, first ever woman's show for NWF, and PGWA contribute to the show as well. Yep. Um. Just looking back at it, um, how did it feel just to be part of the first ever all woman show for Northern Wrestling Federation? Uh, that's still one of my favorite shows that I've ever been at. Just for the fact that we were able to do it like in Cincinnati, bring all these girls in and we were able to have fans that traveled from like different states just to come watch us. Uh, and I've never been in that room with that many, you know, girls in wrestling and it was so amazing. And I think we had a lot of talent there. We had Kylie Ray, which was, she was so awesome to see. She's really nice. Um, and that was back in May. So it, honestly, it's almost been about a year now. And I, I'm so, I hope we have another one. Cause I feel like, you know, I've had about a year to really grow and mature. And I think I'd, I'd, be, I'd be so excited to wrestle there again. I think I've grown a lot since May. It seems so far. <laughs> Well, I do have some good news for you. Mm -hmm. Because in the interview I did with Ben Mama, she has informed me that there will be Revolution Rising 2 in the summer of this year. So awesome. Okay. Matter. I wasn't sure if she confirmed it. I did hear about that. Um, I think we're still working on it, but... Yeah. I mean, I'm so excited. I think I think that'll do. That'll be a great show. A lot of people will come out. You know, bring some different girls in, mix it up. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. and, and who knows? You might be going to that show as champion by then. Uh, manifest it. Let's manifest that. I like that. I like that. So, Savannah, it's been good having this chat with you um thank you so much for your time thank you for your support um you've been um great to chat with and uh um thank you for your time and i look forward to seeing more of you um whether it's nwf whether it's other promotions mm -hmm. in ohio kentucky indiana we'll definitely be crossing paths more often and um i'm just looking forward to seeing more of you I see you grow in this business because right. guys, the limit for, for Savannah Sweet, I truly believe, and people, everyone else will see that too. So thank you for your time and uh, continued success. And it's like I'll see you on February the 18th. Um, you got any final words you want to say to fans and or most notably Ella um, getting ready for this showdown? All right, um, Ella better be ready because, I mean, I'm willing to do anything at this point to get that NWF Women's Revolution title. 
I don't care if I have to give her a finish a billion times, choke her out. I'll do anything. And I want to say thank you for supporting me. It means a lot. Like the fact that you've seen me at so many different promotions. Um, I hope to see you again more and I hope to get out there, travel more, maybe come more into Kentucky area, but thank you. I'll see you February 18th. Um, have a great night. Thank you so much for having me on here. Thank you, Savannah. Best of success. I'll see you on the 18th next month. Check it out, nwfwrestling.com. They got some shows coming up this weekend as well. Uh, go to nwfwrestling.com to get your tickets online. Or you can get your tickets at the door. We're going to be at Cincinnati, I believe, this weekend. And uh, in some another city there. Just go to nwfwrestling.com for more details. And uh, I'll chat with you later. Thank you. Have a great night. Are you too? See ya. All right.